In this demo, we're going to use Windows Configuration Packages Designer to create provisioning. We're going to build a package and then apply that package to the client. We're starting off on CL4. And we're verifying that uh, CL4 is in a work group called Work Group. Okay. We've transitioned over to CL1 where we're going to do our work. And to do that, we're going to find Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer, the desktop app. Just a quick search will bring that right up. Okay, the designer looks something like this. We're going to select Provision Desktop Devices. We're going to create and we're going to specify you know, a name for it and where we're going to store that. Just take the defaults, basically, in our situation. Okay. First up, we're going to give it a name. And by give it a name, we're going to define the template that it's going to generate a name from. We're going to call it marketing dash and then three random numbers. We're going to specify who gets to enroll us into Active Directory. That'll be a user named Ada from the uh, domain. Now we need to move over to the uh, kind of expert page there and configure some runtime settings. We're going to create a user called local user. And when you create a user, it uh, requires you to provide a password. So we're going to provide local user with a password. We're going to export our provisioning package and we're going to send it to our floppy disk. And this is a Hyper-V environment, so this floppy disk is a virtual floppy disk, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to pretend it's a regular one. We're going to call this marketingcomputers.pppkg, as in the provisioning package. And we're going to save it to our A drive, our floppy disk. Okay. And are we ready? We hit build and it's going to go ahead and build our package for us. Select finish. Eject the floppy disk. After we verify that, you know, that's what's in there. We got a catalog file and the actual package itself. So then we would eject the disk. Now we're on CL4. So we would insert the virtual floppy disk. I've omitted all the uh, Hyper-V related and things associated with that. So we've got our floppy disk with the uh, provisioning package in there. We're going to execute that. And we're specifying, yep, it's from somebody we trust. Then it's going to sign me out and then sign me back in and execute the package at the same time. I've accelerated this uh, this process in the interest of saving time for the demo. Notice if you will our machine is named marketing-660 as our provisioning package uh, specified. We did join the domain. Let's verify that we are indeed in the domain. So we'll go to control panel, system security, system and boom there's our domain adatum.com then we're going to go check to see that we did indeed create a user by the name of local user and if we select manage user accounts there he is all right Another successful demo. See you next time.